Today we'll be looking at forex trading in general. We'll look at how the forex market is traded and the overview of what it entails and everything. So the word forex simply means foreign exchange. And trading has to do with buying and selling of goods and services. But in this context, forex trading is defined as the buying and selling of the coins of the foreign currencies. And we are going to look at how this is being done on the XNES, XNES um, website. So I encourage all of you to you know try as much as you can at the end of this video to create your XNES account so that you on your own you after what you learn from this video you can practice and you see what we are doing. So when you come to this place, how when you open your XNES app this is what you are going to see. Then you log in your details. For those that does not have account yet, you have to create an account with them. This is the option where they will tell you to open an account if you don't have account yet with them. And if you do already, all you just need is to click on sign in. And once you you ask for your email and password, the email used in your registration. After that, when you log in, you come to this format if you have successfully uploaded your document and all this is how it will look like so once you, you are able to log in successfully this is what you will have then the next thing is you click on this nine dots then click on xnet terminal hold on for a few seconds for it to open just a little Okay, once you it open, this is how it will look like. What you have here is just a chart. Um, these are the coins that is tradable. You have Euro USD, you have GBP USD, BTC, gold, and okay, this is the Euro USD. So you can actually add by clicking on this plus sign. Click you add or you can search for the coin or the here you want to add to your watch list. Search for it here, type the name, it will appear it will appear among this list here. Then you just click on it. For example, if I want to add I want to add GBP JPY, I can just search for GBP JPY. So this is what I just searched for. You can click on it. And it will open. So this is the chart for GBP JPY. Now when you look at this, when you look at this pair, they exist in two. So this is a comparison of two different currencies of different countries. But so this is Euro compared with USD dollar. This is GBP compared with USD dollar. So that's this they are in pair. The first one is known as the code currency, while the second one is known as the base currency so you can actually add i've explained to you that you can add and remove this is your watch list your watch list contains the list of coins you are trading so you can exit it to your taste the ones you don't want to trade you can remove them and you can add them you can add the ones you want to trade as well so that's that so the next thing you Okay, I need to remind you that there are some important pairs that you need to trade. They are very, very popular. You have the likes of Euro USD, you have USD JPY, you have AUD USD, and GBP USD. They are popular pairs that is good as a beginner. You can actually look out for them as you start your journey of trading. They are very, very good. For you, like I said, you can choose any coin that is okay by you it's a choice to make when you start trading so but i will recommend that as a beginner you read coins that are of less that has less volatility the next thing we'll be looking at is lot size what is lot size lot size is nothing but the quantity of the coin you are willing to 
take with your investments. That is just what it is. Quantity of the lot size you are willing to take with your investments is what lot size is. But as a beginner, I will recommend for all to use 0 0.1 lot size. Zero, sorry, 0 0.01 lot size. To use 0 0.01 lot size as a beginner, then as as time as you make progress and as you gain experience in it, you can decide to go a bit higher. But as you are starting your journey of trading, it's advisable that you start using 0 0.01. So next we're looking at is candlestick. So what are candlestick? By definition, candlestick simply means language of the market here this is because it is the candlestick that we see that we make decision we, we the, the candlestick have a lot of information just like when you communicate with your language to people they try to understand you to get the information you're saying so those candlestick comes with information it is those information that we read to understand what the market is saying and then we interpret it so that is what candlestick does. So when you look at the chart here, you're seeing the green part. So the gray candles, and you're also seeing the red candle. Why the green candle tell us that the market is 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 buying? The red candle tell us that the market is selling. So whenever you see this gray candle in this format, it actually explain buying market. Why that's of the red is telling explain selling market. If multiple green candles are forming, that is an indication that buyers are in controls. So, for example, if you look at this place between this region and this region, you see a um, succession of green candles. That tells you that in, from within this zone, that buyers are in control. And in a similar way, if you see um, the red candle forming, like in, in succession, like in multiples, you will tell you that the market is actually selling and sellers are in control of the market at the moment. So I said, when multiple green candles are formed, it tells you that buying pressure is high. And if multiple um, red candles are formed, it tells you that what? Selling pressure is high. Now, the next thing we will be looking at is candlestick pattern. What are candlestick pattern? Now, when you talk about candlestick pattern, we talk about the formation of the combination of two or more candles giving us a particular pattern. That is what candlestick. That's what candlestick pattern is. And when you combine multiple red colors and green colors candles. And it will form a structure. So when you do that, what you have is pattern. They call it, we call it pattern. So there are different type of candlestick patterns which will be dealt with. So there are different type of candlestick pattern which you use according to the basis we are going to trade on the foreign currency. The next thing we'll be looking at is time frame. Now there are multiple time frames. You can use five minutes, you can use the 10 minutes, you can use four hour, even the daily. But whatever whichever time frame you use you're using is just for multiple confirmation based on the signals that we will be providing for you. So but for the sake of the signals we'll be providing for you, you have to stick to the five minutes. For the sake of the signal we'll be providing, you have to stick to the five minute time frame. So we'll be talking about order. Basically, there are two types of order. We have the market order and the pending order. Now, market order has to do with instance execution. If for instance, if you are giving but just look at this look at this region you see this is market and pending so when you talk about market order if you are giving a signal that tells you for instance that you need to that you need to make an instant execution 
So if, for example, you have a buy here and a sell here. Let's say what this is a time frame for. I mean, this is the pair we have before us is GBP APY. So if market order work in, it's an instant execution. Like if you have, let's say we give you a signal that says sell at a particular price, say one sixty point zero zero. And your profit level should be 159. Your take pro, uh, your stop loss should be 160.2. So what you just need to do is once the conditions are met, you use market order and make your execution like the buy or the sell. But when you use, we talk about pending order. These are orders you use probably maybe you are uh, you know you are not going to be consistent online to check the chart. So you just have to. Use mark a pending order pertaining to like you after setting the order, you can go to your activities that you have at hand and leave it once the conditions are made, it automatically executes the 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 market according to how you have set set it. So that's that's about um market order and um, pending order.